it is very important um, for Alzheimer's disease as well as other complex diseases such as cancer to be able to accurately diagnose it at an early stage. So as in the example of cancer, if uh, it has metastasized and gone to distant organs, it is the chances of treating it uh, effectively are decreasing. And that is exact, the exact case uh, with dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, and some people might be wondering why is Alzheimer's disease uh, detection important at an early stage since there is not available uh, treatment at the moment. And the answer to that is that it is important for quite a few reasons. So first of all, it would allow the recruitment of individuals in appropriate clinical trials. And uh, there are some ongoing clinical trials that are testing some promising drug candidates in uh, individuals with mild cognitive impairment, as well as those with an early stage of the disease. And this shows the necessity of being able to detect uh, individuals so they can be recruited into the right uh, clinical trial. And it is expected that a treatment might be more effective at an early stage and it could slow down or even halt um, the disease progression. And uh, apart from that, there have been some studies with online interviews as well as questionnaires where they are asking the public opinion on this um, issue. And the majority of people uh, say that they would actually like to know if they are at risk of developing Alzheimer's or if, are, if they are at an early stage of the disease. And this is for a couple of reasons. Um, so first of all, they know what to expect. Alzheimer's disease is a quite slowly progressing disease which means that individuals um, might uh, leave having this condition for quite several years after they develop the first symptoms. So it is important for many people to know from quite uh, an early stage um, so that they can make uh, future arrangements, they can plan ahead, they can find a suitable carer, for example. And I also believe that people see this as a wake-up call to adapt a healthier lifestyle, to increase their physical exercise, to have a more balanced diet maybe, uh, or control their weight. Um, and of course, to take uh, into control other diseases that increase the risk for Alzheimer's, such as diabetes or heart problems, for example. Um, and at this point, I would also like to point out that uh, many people consider memory problems and Alzheimer's disease as a natural progression uh, of getting older, but this is not the case at all. Alzheimer's is a disease. It is not a, a normal part of aging. So I think that as the quicker the, some individuals uh, understand this, that they have some memory uh, problems, then the quicker they would get uh, tested or referred to a memory clinic, and then they would increase uh, their chances of uh, a suitable treatment or become part of a clinical trial for some effective uh, drugs.